silence, please, for Mr. Gilly Potter. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? I've been asked to come here this evening to tell you what has happened to that wayward brother of mine. Not my elder brother, the staunch inebriate, but my younger brother that I used to tell you was in jail, penitentiary, fugitive from the chain gang, etc. None of which, of course, was true, because he never was at any time connected with the film business. As a matter of fact, he's a very distinguished man, who's staying at the present moment with very distinguished people named Marshmallow at a place called Hogsnort. Yes, my brother has done brilliantly ever since he left the reformatory ship. The long swim, but he never regretted it. Soon after leaving the ship, I got him a splendid position at Huntley and Palmer. Then there were two ginger nuts missing, and then he won a scholarship to Boston. Then uh, they found the ginger nuts. Huntley found one, and Palmer found the other. Huntley's was somewhat nibble, but Palmer's was all right, so that went back in the tin as a petty bird. And my brother was able to leave Boston. The war wasn't as high then as it is now. Cut his kilt on the glass, and he got over. Then he went to Dartmoor. Had to go to Dartmoor, they were full up at Portland until the Monday. He was four years at Dartmoor where he graduated as a nappy. In fact, we have his pickaxe and cement mixer home on the piano now. Or at least we have it where the piano would be if we had pianos. 